So from this point forward, installation of the magnets and the crank itself is not dependent on the frame. So no matter if you have the PressFit 30, BB30, OSBB, or standard English bottom bracket installed, it's all gonna be the same. So your info crank kit will have come with two magnet hangers and a magnetic adhesive strip. If for some reason the hangers don't fit on your frame, you're gonna use this adhesive strip to attach the magnets to the bottom of your frame underneath the bottom bracket shell with the magnets facing rearwards. Since this frame will accept the hangers, we're gonna go ahead and use those as they're preferable. So you're gonna install both of them on each side and you wanna have the magnet facing as far back as possible. You wanna note that the grub screws do not need to line up with the grooves in the bottom bracket cup. Now snug up all six of the grub bolts until the hanger no longer moves. To install the crank set, we're gonna apply a thin layer of grease on the spindle and slide the crank into the drive side bottom bracket cup. We're gonna take your grease again and apply a thin layer on the bearing surface of the non-drive side. Then you're gonna install the dust cover with the lip facing inwards and the flat surface facing out. And we're gonna take your left crank arm and an eight millimeter hex wrench and thread it on to the spindle. Check that the cranks are aligned before you tighten it all the way down. Tighten this crank bolt to 45 Newton meters. Now after installing the bottom bracket and crank set, if you've taken your chain off for installation, reinstall it and adjust your front derailleur. After ensuring that the cranks and the magnets are installed correctly, you're gonna pair your Navi2 coach with the info crank as per the instructions provided. Now when your battery does run low, the Navi2 coach will tell you when it's time to change them. When it is time to change them, Use the provided two millimeter hex and change the batteries in both the drive and the non-drive side. After changing the batteries, rotate your crank one full revolution to take it out of battery change mode. Each crank arm has a green light that will flash as it passes the magnet if the magnets are installed correctly.